It's changing lanes on its own. Oh my god. Hey guys, Tesla finally released their full self-driving capability as a subscription and I couldn't be happier about it. It happened last night and I woke up to the news this morning and the reason why I am so happy is because if you remember anything about my original full review on our Tesla Model Y performance, I said that we didn't opt for the $10,000 option because I thought it was just too much money. But at about $200 in taxes, it's a... Uh, it's a really good option because you can always cancel and you can always add it again. The difference between that and paying $10,000 up front is that if we were to buy it, um, we would have to drive that car for a long time before we came even. We don't plan to keep this car for maybe about three years, uh, no longer than three years. Um, it's just the $10,000 just made no sense. Also, um, I found the basic autopilot to be just great for trips and the extra features to me don't add enough to merit paying ten thousand dollars more i got a notification last night and when i opened my app on the inbox it said that it was available to have it and we just went for it this morning it's something that has been in the talks for a few months now and it just finally happened and my my wife took the car today on a trip from we live in san diego to Los Angeles and she's going to Universal Studios and she's going with family members. And I just decided to add it so that she could test it on the road because that's exactly where autopilot shines. That's what to me makes the overall experience so great of owning our Tesla Model Y is when we get on the road and we get to take the edge off driving, especially in chaotic uh, bumper to bumper traffic in California. It's just great to have it because it does most of the things for you. And I just didn't, when, when I test drove the car back before we bought it, um, the, the one we test drove had the full set driving capability, but I didn't know enough about the car to rate it. But now that I know what the basic autopilot can do, I think that the extra features that it has when you're driving on the road is just great. You know, the, the automatic lane change and all that. It's, it's just amazing. I upgraded this morning and I notified my wife and all she had to do was pull over and select the options that she wanted and he was already in the car. She got back on the road and then she called me like 20, 30 minutes later saying how amazing it is. I can't wait to see the car when she comes back tonight so I can take it for a test drive and, and see if those um, extra features on the road make that difference. I remember when, I, when we test drove the Model Y performance back in uh, March. I remember that it had the full self driving, so it acknowledges the lights and it chimes when it's time for you to go, when it's on green. So I, I just think that some of the options that it advertises are not enough for spending $10,000. But at $200, we can always change our mind about it. Uh, we're gonna keep it for a while, at least for this month, and see how it is. My wife has a very short commute and she's the main driver of the Model Y. But on the weekends, we do a lot of road trips and they're about 300 miles uh, round trips. And uh, we always use the autopilot. What is advertised for full self-driving capability is to navigate on autopilot, which is amazing. Auto lane change, which I think um, is great because the basic autopilot, every time you change lanes, uh, it deactivates autopilot and you have to re-engage it. So it can get a little bit annoying when you hear that chime over and over again, when you have to re-engage it. And then Auto Park is a feature that I want to try because even though I'm not a horrible driver, I find this car to have a lot of blind spots. And with those small mirrors, sometimes I'm a little paranoid that I'm going to um, curve the wheels. And, and I don't think I'm alone in this, in this journey because every time I come to a light and I see another Tesla next to me, I look at the wheels and they have um, curve rash. That means that, you know, I'm not the only bad driver or the only person having problems uh, parallel parking these cars. The, the wheels are very exposed, so any minor mistake and you're gonna curve those wheels. So with Auto Park, I'm willing to try it, see, see if it helps. And then Summon, it's, I don't think I'm gonna use this. <laughs> I may just show it off to my nephews and stuff, but it's just something that to me is not something worth the upgrade. And then the traffic light and stop sign control, I like that because when you come to a red light, it will notify you when it's on green. And that's something that when we test drove the Model Y performance back in March, when we were trying to buy this one, it had it. So I thought it was pretty cool. It's a convenience for 
those times where you get distracted and you don't know that the lights are already green. So it, it, it is, but the main reason the navigator on uh, autopilot and the auto lane change, those are amazing features because this is where the car shines. This is what has made us fall in love with this car is when we get on, on the road and then we just, we just put it in autopilot and it drives. And now with the full self-driving capability, I think it's just gonna get better. My wife just called me, she's really happy with it and she's just stuck in traffic, but loving it. And I'm trying to find a reason why anybody would opt to get the $10,000 option and buy it outright, because you have to keep the car for at least 50 months before you come even with what it costs as a subscription. Um, who could benefit from this? Maybe somebody that plans to keep the car for a long time. They know that they're gonna keep the car for over four years, or maybe because you just wanna have it because it's so cool. But I, I, I just don't see the value uh, in it. And before, it, before they had it, I remember that I was thinking, how much is uh, Tesla gonna charge for it? And I told my wife that I thought it was gonna be around $200, $250 to $300 to make it worth paying the $10,000 up front. But I'm glad that it's $200. And even though it's a lot of money and we can talk about what is a lot of money and what's not a lot of money, it's all personal budgets and all that but you can get a lease for a car for about $200 a month nowadays. So that's to tell you how relatively expensive this option is. But the good, the good thing about it is that you could get rid of it if your plans change, your budget changes, your, you get tired of it, and then maybe you can get it later again. Um, this is the summer and we plan to be driving around this, this summer all over the place. And we plan to use it for road trips and stuff. And if, we, or, or driving patterns change later, then we just get rid of it, no problem. But spending $10,000 up front, I'm not sure. I just wanted to share with you how happy we are that we finally got this subscription option because when we got the car, we bought it for the Tesla experience. And I think that adding the full self-driving capability just completes the package. Uh, so far, so good. My wife is loving it and I'm just waiting for her to come back tonight so that I can take it for a drive and see those differences between the basic autopilot and um, the full self-driving capability. And also, I would like to thank all of you that have used my referral code to order your Tesla. It's a great option because it gives you a thousand free miles of supercharging and it gives me a thousand free miles as well. Having said that, if you plan to order a Tesla vehicle anytime soon, make sure that you swing by my description box to use my referral code and win a thousand free miles of supercharging. Thank you and I'll see you next time. It's changed.